my aunt said to me, will, will you just come to church with me? She lives in Virginia. She said, come visit me. I'm going to take you to church. And she brought me to a, a non-denominational church. At that point, I had never been to one. And uh, as soon as the worship music started playing, I burst into tears. There was just something that was true about it that I hadn't even experienced yet. Unfortunately, I developed depression uh, in my mid-30s. And up until that point, I had never experienced it, or if I had never to that point. I don't love admitting this, but I just had thoughts that like I should not be here anymore. Like there was no purpose for me left. Um, and that my presence was making it worse for everyone. I think part of the reason was that I was in a relationship that um, was a bit toxic. I don't think either of us were bad people, but I think we brought out the worst in each other. And uh, that's only a piece of it, but I think that was like the catalyst to my reaching my bottom. I think that like, right now, I'm experiencing scarcity in my own life. I'm approaching my 40th birthday and It's a little scary to know that I uh, I don't have that family that I've always wanted yet. I made the personal decision a few years ago to freeze my eggs so that hopefully I can have that family that I want in the future. And unfortunately, they were only able to retrieve two healthy eggs. So I remember my doctor telling me, we're gonna have to do this maybe one, two, three more times because we need X amount of eggs uh, to be safe. And in that moment, I'll never forget it. God said to me, do you trust me or not? I ultimately know, and I'm not just saying this, I ultimately know he's gonna provide. I feel like he's given me a promise and he's gonna, he's gonna fulfill that promise, but in the waiting, it's hard. And of course, we're human, so doubts can crop up. And things like, maybe, you know, I'm just too broken. And in those moments, I go to him in prayer and I ask him, can you just give me a little bit of hope? And he always does. Every time I ask him, it's been a really long time, God. We're maybe approaching the end of the road or maybe the end of the road in my head. Um, but he always gives me hope and I know that even though for me, I feel like I'm approaching maybe the end of the road, it is not the end of the road for him. He's got something so much bigger than I could ever imagine.